guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episodes 20 and 21 of Yes, Pretty Cure 5. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 20 in 3, 2, 1, go. Still bright on my face, oh my god. It's a little bit better. better <laughs> hmm? mm. <laughs> Rin, that's so mean Yeah, and oh, okay. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, it makes sense because you know, most actors, actresses, voice actors, voice actresses, you know, mm, 50 out of 50, they also get to be as uh, debuted as a singer, and the next thing you know, mm. It's like the package deal. Look at all the kids from Disney and Nickelodeon. Well, yeah. <laughs> or it's it's even more interesting, especially if you're on like a show or on the CW or anywhere and they find out, oh, hey, you sing. You know, some of the creators of that said show that you're on, 50 out of 50, may want to use your music in their series unlike one series that i used to like a lot that did not want to use someone's music because it didn't fit their style but they had used like modern pop songs or dance type songs when they had like a club scene and such and it was like okay how are you going to use this song but not one of your own actor songs like that's a little kind of messed up to me I, I mean I, I still even today I still don't understand that ish but it's okay that actor's doing way better than her mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you finish writing your song? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that banner is really going to help her though, but like, hey, A for effort. <laughs> Seriously? No! I, 
it's perfect. No, no, no. <laughs> I think this is the one time that uh, does not want to have the intention on her. <laughs> exactly. Has she ever sang in front of anyone before? I mean... Uh, this is gonna be a little too nervous for her. <laughs> Look at her face! <laughs> Oh, the shade. B E That is something that the Love Live girls would do to just cheer somebody up but like you know Nico would be <laughs> be like I demand this cheer every time when I sing my songs <laughs> be like I love it though <laughs> yeah but the thing is she needs help writing the song and such I mean yes it's good for you to cheer for her but I think this is the time that you you know come together as a group. Uh -huh. I remember one time when I wrote a song in high school, I didn't like it. <laughs> yeah, it, it really isn't that simple. Mm-hmm. 
Well, I mean, I think so. It would help with your career. Well, that's very similar to being a singer. Mm -hmm. no. Oh, and they own hands too. <laughs> oh, you guys. I feel like I'm watching the episode of Idol Master Cinderella Girls all over again. Except I don't think it's going to end the way that I think it's going to end like it did in that series. Just so cute. Yeah. Oh, of course. I mean, this is our big debut. We don't know how this is going to go for her. I don't want to see her cry by the end of this, honestly. What an old iPod. Ooh. Holy crap. Mm. I feel like I'm a little kid again. Jesus Christ, just seeing that. <laughs> I mean, because I didn't have one of those. I had, like, the very first or second generation of an iPod Nano. Best thing that I ever had. The fact that he was so easily able to get, like, a freaking jacket and blend in. <laughs> Last minute change, my butt. Danger. Go help best friend.
You stepped on it like an ass! It's not always about soaking it up. It's about showing your love to their audience and their fans. Oh my god. Like, uh, not the dress. Oh, I thought we were getting like a really like one second ish. <laughs> I don't think we're there just quite yet. We're kind of because I know we just got there with uh with freaking um Tropical Rouge where we finally got like everyone together in a moment in one big transformation showing this is that and it's like only a second. Then they showed the transformation again, except it was only like yeah, about a second long. Under a minute, basically, but it was still good. I loved it. Best girls coming this week, guys. Like, ah! <laughs> well, I mean, because by the time this comes out, you know, um, for for my YouTubers, no, my subscribers, Carola, yeah, Laura will finally make her debut <laughs> as the queen. <laughs> like, finally. Uh, I can't wait until Saturday. <laughs> You wonder was that mute that just happened was supposed to happen in this edit? Like, mmm. The way she just like pushed her, like, oh. Oh, oh, no, oh. Sarah, you're just the only one who doesn't want to listen to it. And, and that's okay. You can just go. 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 Hmm. So now what should I use? Hmm? Huh? Oh, oh no, this is the, yeah! <laughs> it is, these are the 
the outfits for the second ending song. Oh yes, the memeable ending song. She's already giving me, like, super Coco vibes from Hello Happy World. Like, ah! Because, <laughs> of course, like, their target audience is little kids. <laughs> Do you like it? But I think, you know, you're going to get some teenagers and young adults who are going to like it just as much. So freaking cute. Oh, damn. If they only had it shown. The meme. <laughs> the meme ending. It's coming. I, I think it comes, like, at least by, like, what, episode 24? Woo! <laughs> oh, God. I can't wait to see that. Mm -hmm. We all know how memeable that ending is because someone. Okay. I follow this, like, uh, the, a pretty cute Twitter page. It's, like, a fan cam page. And they showed the two versions of the second ending. And I was like, mm. <laughs> I was like, I can't wait till we get here. Because it, it just looks like a big old meme now. Like, I, I remember, like, around the time when the show was airing. <laughs> Like, I thought something wrong was with my, um, I had a, um, I still had a computer, but then I also had a phone that would still let me go into certain sites and everything. Not where it's like, you have a freaking app now, and such, but, like, I remember the first time, I was like, um, there's something wrong with my phone, <laughs> but no, <laughs> the, <laughs> she did good, I'm proud of her, baby girl, I love her so much, like, uh. The song's good. Because I think she is. She's supposed to be Sugu, from what I remember. I I'm going to have to look up before. Because, like, it, it, one of these girls in this series, as I said, but it's been a while since we co recorded, like, episode one and two. And I think it is Urarachan. But, you know, we ain't going on until I look before I start the next episode. Ah, yes. <laughs> do I want to talk about her now? Mm. Do I? Do you know what? Now we're we're gonna wait. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna pause it on right here, and we'll just wait until we get to the second half. So go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode twenty-one. Okay, episode twenty-one and three, two, one. Hold up, three, two, one, go. There we go. <laughs> and here comes Nesme. <laughs> I mean, Milky Rose. Girl. Ha! Huh. Don't fall for that cute little thing. 
<laughs> yeah, but that cute and cuddly thing about that's still your food. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> mm hmm Take a bite of them foods. Mm hmm Oh, she about to have the most rudest awakening when she find out her food is gone. Cause, ooh, <laughs> like imagine. Oh God, I, there have been times where like I I bought something for myself, and either my mom or my father, or oh God, I remember one time when I was a teenager, my mom made this really interesting cake. It was almost very. Very similar to a strawberry shortcake, but it was so much better. And so I had a couple of pieces of it, and I told my uh, my mom's friend's kid to go put this in the refrigerator for me and such, right? And I didn't want the rest of it until the following morning. So I get up. It's about 12, 1, 2 in the afternoon in Nebraska, and I was like, hmm, I'm going to go eat my cake. I go into the refrigerator, you know, walking in the kitchen like, yeah, finally getting me a piece, eating this cake, yeah. It was gone. One of my mom's friends got so drunk and saw the cake in the fridge, thought it was theirs, and ate it. Until this day, I have been so effing pissed about that cake because that cake was so freaking good. And when you finally got a slice of it, oh, just... Mm. <laughs> I mean, shouldn't he just really be fired by now? I mean, there, there's been... For everybody who currently works at this place, they have, there are moments already where it's like, hmm, you are very close to being terminated, deported, anything, fired, you know, hmm. Let me move that from over here. Move it right here, kind of. I might have to move my freaking Alexa. Hmm. You know, his car is going to say yes. All it knows, I mean, if you only knew. <sighs> yeah, that's him. The shade, stop it. <laughs> That's you know, cuz family, biggest fans.
right? Oh no, here comes Milky. Mm hmm, all gone. <laughs> the little savage. <laughs> Milky Rose and everything. Yes. Oh, nuts. <laughs> mm -hmm. Milky. Cocoa nuts and milk. Mm -hmm. So, you know what? We're going to go ahead and say it. Milky was a savage way before Laura. <laughs> Laura is an even bigger savage. I'm sorry. mention it. I mean, seriously, you guys are popular as heck! Oh my god! It makes you still wonder, like, from the, from the get-go, from when this was planned, of not only having this show get another season, but how far was this already planned for her to be a cure? I mean, because it's kind of like the same thing where, for almost anyone else, because, you know, still, there's a lot of other girls in the world of pretty cure who would I like to see be a cure. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, because your fool knows me. <laughs>
Well, you know, Milky, what are you exactly going to do, though? Yeah, you're blunt. I mean, well, there's no worries. It's okay. It is what it is. It's just lunch. You don't even have money. to lunch tomorrow the next time you go to school froze shit I just froze for like a minute there we go oh, oh my god ah uh. Yeah, Milky went out and now she's lost. Great. Hey. And I froze again. What the fuck is going on today? <laughs> Can we just talk about for a moment? Like... She kind of just seems impressed, but not like too, too impressed in her yet.
it's going to be a tree again. A, a, a bench. <laughs> you know what? Bench ain't really that scary. I mean, mm -hmm. You know, one day, season two of this show, you will be joining them. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, what did you expect? <laughs> uh. Once again, savage as hell. Teenagers. sleeping. <laughs> she precious. Precious and savage, that's all. <laughs> Oh, uh, this girl. <laughs> I remember <laughs> having a very like for for the rest of this show. Not caught. I'm not talking about Gogo, -Go, but specifically talking about this show. I had a love hate relationship with Milky because there are times where I loved her, and then there were times where I like I honestly really despised her. But in the end, it, like, even now, as an older person, older and wiser, um, I, I love her so much. She still is one of my favorite characters, like, as much as she can be. A B word and a little bit of a little, mmm, just reminding me of little kids in general sometimes because, of course, little kids want to be smart and how we were all like that when we were kids as well. And, you know, our cousins and Ish always thought that we were little Ishes when we were kids. But, I mean, yeah, she has her reasons why. But she is just very, very, very savage. Very, very savage. And I, I'm going to love the fact is 
<laughs> the arguments between her and Nozamin, getting it to the point where she finally makes her debut as, you know, Milky Rose, which isn't until Go Go, which we still have a long way to go to get there. But yeah, everybody's finally together. Like, uh. But, oh my god. <laughs> a savage girl. I can't. A savage mascot. You got a savage mascot and a savage mermaid. time do you think she's going to be causing a lot of trouble? Because, I mean, she's still, like, a baby in in this case and such. She's not, like, the matured badass that we see for, you know, Gogo. So, of course, she's going to act like a spoiled brat several times into this season and in this show. But, I mean, there, there are times, like I said, where I do agree on what she does and there are times where I'm like, mm -mm, I don't agree with what the heck she's doing right now because oof but i mean yeah honestly i still love her she's still one of my favorite characters and even though you know first time when i saw her i was like yeah you're so cute but you're savage and i want to beat the crap out of you because you know you <laughs> know to me <laughs> it, it just reminds me of like how many other magical girl shows in the world of magical girl anime is an ish how often because you do we like is it it is it really is considered a trope now because you do see it in almost typically every somewhat of a modern day or modernized um magical girl anime where one of the mascots has an argument with one of the girls or it's one of the girls will have an argument with each other and such so but it's not a bad trope it's a really interesting trope but sometimes because there is one season of pretty care that did it a lot and I was just like by the end of the series I was like mm, no <laughs> just no and I think if you know me you probably know which one that is of course yes hint, hint, I did react to the show when it was airing and it is still by far one of my least favorite even though I enjoyed it for everybody else except that one character <laughs> but other than that guys that is my reaction to view towards episodes 20 and 21 of Yes Pretty Cure 5. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes 22 and 23. Bye, guys.